What is Cafe Mocha? Cafe Mocha is experts, celebrities. What's up? This is Belle Biv DeVoe. This is Julie Idris Elba. This is Fantasia. This is Invo. This is India Ari. Hey, what's up? This is Brandy. Music and features from a woman's perspective. Intriguing conversation. Espresso. The Mocha Mix. So much more. All from a woman's perspective. What flavor are you making? This is Cafe Mocha. Neo's ex Yetta Shaw joins us to talk about how they keep it classy when it comes to co-parenting. And while you're working on your vision board, setting goals for the year, we're going to talk to former NFL player Trent Shelton about the courage to go for yours. Cafe Mocha begins now. Like more Cafe Mocha? More of the flavor you love in just minutes. Keep it right here. Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. Angelique along with Lonnie Love and Yo-Yo on the line. He's got a book called The Greatest You. Facing reality, release negativity, and live your purpose. Mr. Trent Shelton, welcome to Cafe Mocha. Thanks for having me. I appreciate y'all having me on. No problem. Trent, how did you overcome all the odds to become an NFL player? Uh, it, it was just laser focus. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do at a young age since so I was about six years old and for me, there was no other option, so I put in the work, uh, took care of my, my uh, grades at school, and I just um, had what I call a championship mindset, consistent discipline, consistency, faith, and heart, and uh, being committed to the to the grind and trusting the process. Mm, the greatest you. What tips did you use in the book to reach your success? Um, I mean, really the whole book, <laughs> but I think the main thing, the first step is, the first step is you'll never win your war by running from your battle, and so that was a big part of my whole journey in starting rehab time was when I got cut from the NFL, I was running from it. And you know, people listen, they might not can relate to sports, but maybe you can relate to losing a job or losing a relationship. And we try to run from that reality because maybe that's our identity. We don't know where our life is going to be without it. And so I had to step up and face it. And it led me to honestly living my greatest life right now. Trent Shelton's book is called The Greatest You, Face Reality, Release Negativity, and Live Your Purpose. Catch our flow. This is Cafe Mocha Radio. Radio from a woman's perspective. We're talking to former NFL player Trent Shelton. His book is called The Greatest You, Face Reality, Release Negativity, and Live Your Purpose. Um, What made you share these lessons in the form of a book? Yeah, um, you know, I'm really big on video and social media and a lot of my supporters are our readers and they've been asking for it. But also too, like a book is something that, you know, you go to bed with. It's just a little bit more personal. I think it it uh, it helps you implement ideas better and then it's just listening. So I know for, you know, somebody out there that really wants to dive in deep, I knew a book was a perfect way to get to their heart. Now, how do you fight against negative people? Because I just like to fight them. <laughs> but how do you fight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the best I mean there's different ways you know I mean some people you know I have a video called everybody isn't your friend and that's like it sums it up perfectly but you have to understand some people you can't have a conversation where you just have to cut them off you know some people say ghost them whatever like that but for some people it's just a conversation and I do that with my friends you know when I left the NFL left that lifestyle when I wanted to be a better man for my son and my family you know, a lot of them didn't get it and I told him, hey, this is where I'm going with my life. And so if you guys want to make this change with me, great. If not, you know, I can't afford to keep my life here any longer. And, you know, some of them did, some of them got it, some of them didn't, but I have to keep my life rolling. Keeping your life rolling, what are some of the keys that you use to battle in negative, negative thoughts? Uh, for me, it's protecting my peace. And so I started with every single word. And I feel like mental health is very important. I feel like protecting your mental health is very important. So my process is simple. It's four A's. Uh, the first A is appreciation. Wake up in gratitude. You know, over 150,000 people die every day. So if you have breath, you should be thankful for that. My second A is affection. I love to say a hug. It keeps depression away. So I hug my wife, hug my daughter. I try to hug my son. He's 10 years old, but he's at the Kool-Aid. So I still get those hugs. And <laughs> the third A is uh, accomplishment. And so I set up a small win. How you start your day will influence your day. So something small could be making in my bed, washing the dishes, writing in my journal. Then the fourth A is activity. Um, I'm a hiker. I love to go out in nature. I believe it's nature hills so I go out for a walk in nature and I start my day off like that and I, I notice that you know it doesn't it doesn't bulletproof you to negativity but when negativity comes your way and you're in a better space to handle it it's Cafe Mocha on the line Trent Shelton the book is called The Greatest You Face Reality Release Negativity and Live Your Purpose what's the one thing Trent you would want people to take away from your book 
The greatest you is not anything external. A lot of times we think we have to find that person in the world, whether it's a job, whether it's money, whether it's home, media. I think when you read this book, well, I know when you read this book, you'll realize that the greatest you is inside of you, and you just got to rediscover that person that you were created to be. How do we keep in contact with you? Uh, all social media sites is at Trent Shelton, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and I'll pop up. Thank you so much for your time. The book is called The Greatest You. Thank you. Face reality, release negativity, and live your purpose. And I think at times like this, we need books like this. So mm-hmm. I think this is a great Absolutely. book for everybody to pick up. Thank you so much, Thank Trent. Thank you. On the way, how do you keep it classy when it comes to co-parenting with your ex? Monietta Shaw shares her evolution with Neo. It's next on Cafe Mocha. Oh! Don't you go anywhere. There's more mocha on the way. This is Cafe Mocha. It's Cafe Mocha. Angelique, along with Lonnie Love and Yo-Yo, on the line, Monietta Shaw. Her book is called Keep It Classy, Co-Parenting Strategies for Unstoppable Moms and Devoted Dads. Thank you for joining us, Monietta. Thanks for having me, ladies. I love you, ladies. Thank you, thank you. Now, what inspired you to write this book? Well, I will say, just to be a positive example for for not just ladies, uh, men as well, um, for, for those families that quite don't work out. And you have to be an example for your kids. So I felt like it was great to be a positive example, and you just need to put your best, best foot forward. And why not show and tell that it's possible to get along. It doesn't have to all be crazy, especially in the celebrity world. Like, you can do it, and you could do it, you know, in a positive manner. So it's super important um, for me to, to write this book because of that. So what are your rules for keeping things classy? Listen, honey, take a woosah before you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> before you react to woosah. anything, honey, because you already know it gets crazy at times, and it can, you know, but it's a choice. It's always a choice. Um, put your ego aside. Please put your ego aside because a lot of times we know that hurt people hurt people. And if you're really yeah. acting in the best interest of your interest of your children, you know, it's, it's not always about you. You know, if, if they come first, they didn't ask to be here. So you have to put your ego aside, honey, and just do, do what's best for them. So that's super important. Can you talk about some of the biggest lessons you've had to learn about co-parenting? I mean, put your ego aside is a big one, and that applies to so many things in life. Exactly. Friendships, uh, jobs, you know, just a a lot of things, you know, not just co-parenting. That's a valuable lesson in life. Um, I would have to say, you know, uh, my, my parents have been together for 46 years. And so when um, my ex fiance Neo, and I broke up, like, it was just kind of devastating to me. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? But it's it's okay. And, you know, you have a new normal and it's all good. But, of course, when they move on and, you know, you have to yeah. swallow that, that big thing that, okay, somebody else is going to be around my children. You know, it's just, it's a lot to handle and it's a lot to take in. So, but, but you can do it, you know, you can get through it if you just have a positive outlook. And just like I said before, put your children first and do what's in their best interest. Her book is called Keep It Classy, Co-Parenting Strategies for Unstoppable Moms and Devoted Dads. More with Monietta Shaw coming up on Cafe Mocha. You like our flavor. flavor. More music. More chat. More Cafe Mocha on the way in just minutes. It's Cafe Mocha on the line. Manietta Shaw, author of Keep It Classy, Co-Parenting Strategies for Unstoppable Moms and Devoted Dads. Now, you were talking about um, your breakup with Neo. And how did you handle it? Because it seemed like it was a complete, a complete invasion of privacy. Um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I mean, it was just like all the business everywhere. And I'm like, this poor girl. Who who Thank you. I, I just yes. don't Yay. like social Yay. media. I just don't <laughs> like social media because I'm sorry. How did you keep it classy in those moments where I was flipping mm. out on your behalf? Mm. <laughs> 
But I will say thank you. You know, we. <laughs> I will say I had moments to myself where I went in the closet and screamed, honey. Um, but you know, I have to realize, like I said before, and I will keep go, keep back going to that. Um, you know, I'm an example. We are examples to our children, and how they see us react. We're showing them how to behave as adults. And if they see their mama, right. daddy, whosoever flipping out, they're going to be like, oh, okay, that's cool. Let's let's get it. Let's do it. Let's throw the trash can at him and let's do this and let's cuss him out or let's talk bad, you know, around him because mama said he ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I chose to handle those moments within our family. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it, it's not all peachy and it's about growth and getting to the point where, you know what? Yeah, we don't have time for that. It didn't work out, and that's fine. And you have to move on and just heal and and want to get to the other side of things. But yes, the social media did not make it easy, honey. <laughs> okay, Marietta, uh, in your opinion, when somebody's dating, when should they be introduced to the daters' kids? Okay. Right. Well, kids. I would say, I talk about this in the book, too. I would say a good time would be like the six months range let me know if I'm you know if y'all feeling me ladies I feel like that's a good time but then again you mm. will possibly have those few that will go through and you don't know them in five years so mm. you know you just have to trust your gut and trust your judgment and you don't want yeah. everybody meeting Uncle John Uncle Jimmy or Aunt Susie like hold on these are a whole bunch of people we meet in mom and daddy you know so you have to right. <laughs> you know use your gut use your intuition because it could get and how should it be? Should it be a dinner or should it just be like maybe they come and they're going to take you out and maybe they'll just go, oh, this is such and such. It should be a quick introduction, an initial, or should it be an activity in your opinion? In my opinion, I feel like an activity is good. Um, you know, make everybody comfortable and not such a big deal because maybe a dinner might be too much for the kids. But um, everyone, you know your kids and you know how they would, you know, react to to certain things so just make sure that it's in the best interest of them um, and do what's more comfortable but in my opinion I would I would say um, uh, activity would be, would be <laughs> and, great <laughs> and what about introducing them to the you know like your ex's now new girlfriend mm. uh, I didn't say around the same time frame but you know do y'all go by that rule probably not and things get a little crazy but life happens guys and you gotta just know how to roll with the punches and have conversations and, and be mature about any and every situation you know mm-hmm. um, because life will come at you and sometimes it comes at you fast she was engaged to Neo they have a child together she now has a book on co-parenting it's called Keep It Classy more with Monetta Shaw just ahead on Cafe Mocha you know I love you. we got the hit makers Trailblazers, tastemakers, and game changers. That's how we roll. This is Cafe Mocha Radio. It's Cafe Mocha. We're talking to Monietta Shaw. Her book is called Keep It Classy, Co-Parenting Strategies for Unstoppable Moms and Devoted Dads. Now, Monietta, I can hear my cousins in Brooklyn right now going, well, she, Neo sending her fat checks. She can afford to keep it classy. You know, my, my car... Listen, my my car's honey. messed up. I can't get to such and such. Yeah, I got girl. this going on. I got that mm-hmm. going on. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, when you take the financial factor out, mm-hmm. it, out it, it makes mm-hmm. what's at stake a lot higher. You know what I'm saying? We're now not talking about embarrassment or discomfort oh, yeah. or things of mm-hmm. that nature. Now we're talking about basic survival. How do you keep that cool when when you might have to go back to sleeping in your mama's basement or you Listen, might be girl. walking you and your kids to work? Listen, I totally feel that I got that a couple of that question a couple of times and my thing is um could some people say, honey, you can't take all these things, the material things to your grave and it's not like of course you could buy this or the kids have this but that's not happiness it's just material Mm -hmm. things and it doesn't matter Mm -hmm. at the end of the day because a lot of times I'm like you know because he's one of the busiest people that I know and I'm like okay your kids don't need that build a bed they just need you to sit down and just look at them for a minute you know so at the end of the day it's about the things that that truly matter the priceless Mm. things the priceless moments at the end of the day but I mean I get it heck when the first happened I was about to go back to my mom and them house my mom and daddy house just forget you know because I'm I'm like you know what that's fine these these are fine but I I want you I want us to work on it you know so at the end of the day it's about what matters to you and what matters to us is the kids and the family and um, just 
having that positivity and being that positive example. But yeah, I know it gets real, honey. And and yeah, like I need the father and the mother to do what's right and just do what's right for the children. And at the end of the day, if you're doing that, that's, that's a great direction that you're moving in. Thank you so much, Manana Shaw. Uh, the book is time. called Keep It Classy, Co-Parenting Strategy for Unstoppable Moms and Devoted Dads. Mm-hmm. So take care, mm-hmm. sweetie. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Y'all pick that book up. Yes. Help, help with these blended you. families. All right. <laughs> take luck. care, sweetie. Cafe Mocha is a production of Miles Ahead Broadcasting in partnership with Compass Media. Executive producer Sheila Eldridge. For comments, booking, or more information, visit CafeMochaRadio.com.